Well, I've always had an interest in healthy activities, but probably something that happened to me more recently has probably stepped it up a notch. Like I kind of laxed for a while, but I had an injury that required pain prescription medicine. And I knew a lot about substance abuse and addiction, and I'd heard the stories first, second, and third hand. So I was like, I've got this covered. I understand addiction. This is not going to happen to me. Well, it came to the point where I found out that I was like counting my pills. And my brain was telling me that I still had pain, that I needed pain pills. And so I was listening to that kind of new brain instead of my other brain that knew. Probably not. All of a sudden, it just kind of, you know, it's like that the moment is like, oh my gosh, this is the start of addiction. So I knew that I needed to replace that kind of yearning, that addiction kind of thing, um, with something healthier. And a friend of mine really kind of saw my struggle and said, let's go for a walk. And it was, as soon as I got into the woods and was walking, it was just like, whew, all is right with the world. And so we have kept up our walking buddy system for three years now. And we have started um, a free monthly, third Thursday of every month. Um, it's a free 3K, 5K run or walk. So that's been great because I've been hearing a lot of comments like, wow, there's a lot of people walking around town now. What's up with that? And like I said, my friend Linda and I walk a lot and they see us out there walking too. And so I'm really, I think, starting to see more people walking. So we're hoping to change the culture of health in Fayette County.